a particular lady came to my DM on Instagram saying that she paid a huge sum of money just to get the COS. And if you don't know what the COS is, is Certificate of Sponsorship, okay? I initially made a post on my Instagram story where I was asking, why do people pay for COS? Because up to now, I still don't get why people would be paying for COS, you know? This whole process, this whole skilled worker visa process or the UK worker route could be done by yourself. I keep saying this, but most of you don't want to believe it or most of you do know it, but should I say you are so eager or desperate to get here, most of you fall victim. So back to the story. So underneath the story, she commented saying that, oh, she was a victim of that. I'll be leaving a screenshot of her message, but I won't be putting her name for confidentiality sake, that she was a victim, that she paid 12,000 pounds just to get COS and up to now she still haven't gotten the COS neither has she even gone to the embassy for a biometric and this is so shocking and I'm in total disbelief because I've been in the UK for some while now and up to now I've not even carried 12,000 pounds cash on my hands so I'm wondering where do people see this kind of money where do people see that this kind of money? If I had that kind of money while I was in Nigeria, while I was back in Africa, I would have established myself, okay? UK is not for everybody. I'm not trying to discourage you, but people will assume that, oh, when you come to the UK, you are plucking money from the tree. That is wrong. I believe that God would, God could even establish you where you are, okay? God could even make you greater where you are than those even in the UK. So it's not about where you are, but about God, about your focus, about your vision, okay? So even if you still want to come to this UK and it's not a... Um, by the way, I'm cooking, I'm in the kitchen today and I said, oh, I really need to bring my camera out here to film and let's discuss, let's, let me make this discussion, you know, very comfortable, very neutral, okay? Where was I again? I was saying that. So even if you want to come to the UK through the skilled worker route, through the skilled worker visa, you could do it yourself. You've heard people saying this countless of times. I'm not the first person to come here to say this. People are getting this job on a daily basis. I'm posting them here on my YouTube community. You guys are saying it, okay? So it's no scam. And the truth is that healthcare work is not for everybody. That's the truth. Healthcare work is not for everybody. You might be looking at it like, oh, it's one small thing until you come here. Okay? So when she sent me that message, I was I was so shocked. As in, I was so shocked. I was sad for her. You know? Because I do get a lot of messages on my Instagram um, DM. But I just saw that when she said I was a victim to this. I said, oh, let me... I'm interested to know what this is, so I kind of click on it. I click off on it to see what it's actually, what she's actually talking about, okay? And she was saying that, as a matter of fact, her mom was the one that paid the money. Her mom was the one that paid the money. That was so shocking. That was so sad because... And instantly, I know how hard my mom works back in Nigeria with a little little money she's trying to gather here and there, selling where she will not bring it to pay for COS. Guys, if you don't shock you, shock me. Oh, so due to curiosity, I went to this woman's profile to check, you know, just to see her and who she really is. Obviously, she's an African, you know, and obviously, she's from an unborn background, like most of us. And I'm like, geez, all I could do was just to pray for her. Nothing more other than to pray for her. Because this is so sad. And I love the fact she said because she was desperate. I love the fact she admitted it. And I'm like, wow, this is this is a start. This is a beginning now for you. For you to admit your mistakes, okay? And realize that, oh, you, you actually made a wrong move and trying to pick yourself back up. I commend her for that. That was a good one. Okay, she was saying that 
she was so desperate reason why she paid that amount okay and if if you successfully pay for that cos and you get here to the uk it's not being so to do healthcare work it's not beans okay i'm not discouraging you but you have to prepare your mind back from your own country wherever you're watching me from africa or india asia wherever you're watching me from you have to prepare your mind okay so when you come here even if you pay for the cos you might likely not even enjoy this job. You might likely want to quit. If you get what I'm trying to say. So, I've heard of a story recently on YouTube where a particular woman, after paying for the COS, she eventually got here to the UK and started a job. And being that, oh, she paid part of the COS. The COS was about, I think from the story, about £10,000 or something. So she paid part, part of the COS, guys, give me a minute. She paid part of the COS, like I was saying. And when she got here, every monthly wages she earned, a particular sum of amount would be taking off the, the, the wages just to cover up the other payment, if, you, if you're following me. So... Eventually, when she got here, the work, work was so difficult for her. She was trying to cope. She was really struggling to cope. As a matter of fact, she said after they removed some of the amount for the COS, the remaining amount she was owing, that almost nothing would be left for her. And she needs to feed. She needs to pay her house rent. She needs to buy clothing. She needs to pay bills. Like, she needs to buy gas, electricity, and the rest of them. Okay? And unfortunately for that particular woman, they sacked her because it was becoming very difficult because after the days after the month's wages what am i saying after the monthly work or the monthly wages they are left with nothing so they were like about six people okay so one of them went to snitch or one of them went to report the organization that oh she can't be doing this or oh, she paid so so amount for cos and the remaining half and the agreement was for her to work and deduct the amount but now she can't cope because she's like yeah living like a refugee or she could barely eat and the rest of them okay so so government got to know this and they they kind of revoke the license of the company and when it did that woman now was left without nothing I think the person saying this was Prudence at Pinoco, if you know Prudence, she's also a YouTuber based in the UK. She was saying this too. So the woman now, she's left with nothing. It's Prudence, hope I'm not getting this, this wrong, I, I don't know. She was left with nothing rather, that she could barely feed, she could barely eat, you know. Now, so I was saying, the, the company, the government revoked the license of the company. Now. This particular woman doesn't even have a job here in the UK after paying a huge sum of amount, a huge sum of amount to secure a COS. She's left with nothing now. She can't get a job in the UK. Yes, she still needs to feed. She still needs to pay us rent because she can't live on the street. She doesn't even have a, a, a backup, like a visa backup. Because once they revoke the license of that company, you are indirectly yeah as an illegal Im immigrant if you get what i mean that means you don't even have a work permit no more if you can't even walk on the streets freely by the way guys i'm making um some jollof rice this is like um i'm using the burger wheat if you know burger wheat the etian way of eating you know so it's like an alternative to rice grain you know but instead of using rice i just use i just use this Sometimes or not every time because of my husband is into his fitness. Okay, so we use this sometime burger weight, you know So guys, eh, please stop paying for COS. I cannot I cannot overemphasize why you should stop paying for COS. I could give you thousands of reasons for you to stop paying for COS. First, you could do this yourself Yes, it will take time. I'm not saying it will take time. I'm not promising you to take time. It will take time But you know, even if it take time, God's time is always the best. You're finally you finally get here, okay? So, you will finally get here. And talking about you guys doing these courses, these courses of Florence and e for you and the rest of them, care courses, 
just to put it simply, it's not because the company will ask you for those courses on your CV, but because for your own good, for your own safety. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm here. I'm here listening to all the gists. See all the gists, okay? They say, you don't talk until you experience it. For your own good, because people are getting deported back to Nigeria. Because when they come here, they don't even know what oil is. They don't know how to use this. They don't know how to use that. You get what I mean? They don't know how to do anything. Before you know, the company will kick them off. I know of someone, a close friend of ours, that got his license, yeah, his um, visa revoked because he came here and he doesn't know any of this. Yes, you want to come to the UK. UK is a greener pasture to you, but are you preparing yourself? Because with every responsibility, or with every growth comes greater responsibility. So are you preparing yourself? Are you preparing yourself? You come here, you don't even know what it is. You don't even know how to change patients. You don't know how to turn them. You know, you, you become frustrated. And most of us in Nigeria will be like, hey, they, they, they do. All these Oyubo people too, they do. If you don't know what Oyubo is, white people, they too, they do. And their rules are too much. Because of, it's because of their rules. That's why they are making it in this country. That's where the country is going. Okay? So guys, I don't want to make this video too long. But I just want to put this out there. I just want to talk to you guys. And chat with you guys, okay? I don't want fancy background or my face done or whatever. I just really want to, this to be very, very comfy, this conversation. So, so guys, eh? Please, you guys should be patient. And anybody that is, that is commenting or your, I've been replying you on your comments with my, with my identity, my profile picture, or my name, that's not me Say, or oh, send me a DM on Telegram, do this and do that. It's not me. I don't have any paid service. I don't, I don't do any paid service. Initially, I wanted to do like a one-on-one -on -one, um, session whereby you, you guys could pay like a wee sum of money, a little sum of money, about 18 pounds or so for me to coach you and the rest. But I said, no, I'm not going to do that because I know the way our people can be. I don't want any wildlife to see me. If you know me, I'm a very gentle and calm person. You know, I don't like anything that will bring Wahala to my doorstep. Because I know the way our people can be, yeah? Before somebody will say, oh, Clara is eating my money. Clara is eating my 18K. Because <laughs> it's so funny talking about this. I know the way our people can be. You know, paid session doesn't guarantee that you're going to get the job. It doesn't even make me an immigration officer. But it's just to coach you and put you through. And tell you different sides, you know, open your eyes to the in-depth of this whole visa sponsorship in the grit, grit or what if I bite my tongue, <laughs> you know. But I know the way our people can be, you I know the way our people can be. Before they come and say, Oh, Clara is eating our 18k, Clara has done this, you know, 18 pounds. So the reason why I said this place should I beg, I'm not gonna do it. I would love to, but I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna do it as a matter of fact. If I'm even this YouTube that I'm doing this um, weekly video upload, I'm still struggling with it. Not talk of paid session. So, guys, don't let anybody, don't let, let anybody scam you up your money. Don't let anybody scam you off your money. Okay? Please be patient. Okay? Be patient. Your time is gonna come. And I believe, as long as you're on this platform, Clara UK Immigration Platform. Your time is going to come. Definitely. So I'm making burger, rice, and then um, fish. My fish is in the oven already. I wanted to fry that fish, but I'm like, no. I know the way I am when it comes to frying fish before I start doing karate. So guys, that's it all. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's conversation. And um, if you want me to do this more often, whereby I'll be in the kitchen or I'll be doing one chores, or the other in the house while talking to you guys let me know okay let me know if it's something you're interested in and i will be doing it more often because truth be told i think i like it, it kind of saves me time i could do my chores you know while speaking to you guys <laughs> so i'm wishing every one of you the best of luck here i'll be off in the camera now don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed don't forget to like this video leave a comment tell me 
tell me uh, your opinion about paying for COS and if you would pay for the COS. And let me know how far you've gone on this journey, how frustrating it can be. But before I go, there's always something I do say before I end every video. No good thing comes easy. Everything is patient. No good thing in life comes easy. You have to be patient, guys. Okay? You have to work for it. You have to be persistent. Consistency. No good thing comes easy. Okay, and I hope by saying this, I'm leaving you with a word of encouragement today. Why you're going through your application or seeing all those uh, unfortunate emails. Let it be ringing in your head. Clara says, no good thing comes easy. No good thing comes easy. Okay? But with God's grace, everything is going to be easy. It's just grace. And this um, visa sponsorship stuff, um, skin worker visa, is a try your luck system. I just say it, I don't like to lie. It's a try your luck system. In the sense that it's not about your qualifications, it's not even about how many experience you've gotten. It's just God that if you apply for this job, all will be so much interested in, in giving you the job. It's not how much grammar you even go and blow during the interview. I recently made a video with a particular lady that got a job from Nigeria, a domiciliary job from Nigeria, here in the UK. She, she didn't even write her health, guys. When she told me this, it was shocking to me, but I got to believe it later on because I went to do my own research. She didn't even write her health, her health but she got the job. She had no experience, but she got the job. So guys, I'll be leaving the link to that video in my description box so you guys will go watch it and learn from that. And I'm wishing every one of you the best of luck. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. Unfortunately, I'm not going to invite you to eat, okay? Because I'm a foodie and the food will not reach me, okay? So guys, bye!